If we were meant to stay in one place, we would have roots instead of feet, said Rachel Walchin. I couldn't gather better words to start this travel story in which another trip away from home begins. The journey though started rather on a dull note, with me feeling out of place in the flight, and the heavens sharing the same spirit with their blank and overbright skies. The only good thing turned out to be this book with a vibrant cover. The last time I was here in Chennai, I got to spend one full day with a friend, visiting its beach and lighthouse. It was a short stay this time, as I was on my way to take another bus out of Chennai. Where exactly? We'll know soon. Meanwhile, the weather was pleasant and welcoming. And after a metro ride, a walk through the subway, a roadside lunch, and help from strangers with talking to the bus manager, I safely and without any last minute adventures got to my bus. With legs stretched and curtains drawn, the seat was comfortable and observing the people from here felt like being in an invisible home that moved. It was with that ease I watched the landscapes roll and fold into different shapes. The view from the window felt good on the ice, with lakes frequently appearing out of nowhere and trees of different sizes firing bright colors of green. I wonder how much of all this will change in the future, just in a decade's time. That's the Palar River. I knew it because Google Maps said so, a piece of information that wasn't this accessible a decade ago. Things change. Still feeling strange and out of place, I finally reached the first stop of this trip. And I was going to... Mikasa. First impressions of the hostel? It was neat. This is what I found on maps. Does Google find everything attractive? Or does this city have so many appealing places? It was all dark when I stepped out to explore with a renewed spirit of keenness and joy. It's an ideal time to be here since the ambience of the night adds more charm to the fringe style streets and buildings. As I experienced it in a few places, the streets of the city encourage you to keep walking. And if you haven't guessed what place this is, I was in Pondicherry, also called Puducherry, a union territory located in Southeast India. Walking through the streets and taking random turns, I couldn't stop smiling like a madman, which made me think, am I so travel deprived? And the presence of cafes and restaurants everywhere fills these lanes and roads with music, which makes all the walking feel like a tap dance. Thank you. <laughs> I then reached this place, which I got to know as the Promenade Beach, which you'll probably see in every Pondicherry itinerary. And look at this. The only thing missing is someone suddenly popping their head out of that hole, which would make it a little more interesting. At this point I was hungry, but my legs weren't willing to stop anytime soon. This long stretch of beach front road, lined with French style restaurants and artistic walls kept me going. For dinner, I entered Ocean 7, picked in a super tasty Dai Puri along with an ice cream shake, which also tasted delicious, and walked back to the hostel. I know 
we can't see the singer, but we can still listen. In the next story, we go to Auroville, come back to the same beach and eat a pizza that felt like a mouth exercise. Don't forget to check this corner of the internet this coming Thursday. See you soon with another travel story. Take care.